Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Oh, we got a great one for you today. If I refresh this page, once the page reloads, in two seconds we'll have a little pop-up form. I've got this happening on every page. If we just leave it there, after 10 seconds it's going to disappear and the page will revert as normal. And if I do that again, you'll see that when it pops up, there's the opportunity to hit call to action button or if they want to close it straight away they can close it right there this is really easy to do we're, do, we're using the Divi Supreme Modules Pro plugin to do this today absolutely awesome plugin so let's get started I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end okay and while that's enabled let's go down to our dashboard You'll need Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated to do this today. And you can find the link below the video for anybody who wants to learn more. Go down to Divi Supreme Pro. That's going to take us to this page right here. I want to make sure that you've got Enable Divi Pop-Up switched on. So it's on the right hand side, purple like that. Once you've done that, hit Save Changes. If you forget to do this today, this is not going to work. Okay, well let's go back to our page. I'm using the home page here, which is a pretty long page, and you can use any module you want on the page if you just want the pop-up on this particular page. I want mine to appear on all pages, so I'm going to actually put it in my global footer when it comes time. But to actually create the module, we can go anywhere to create it on our site. Let's just add a new module perhaps below this one. A little dark button to add a new module. I want to use a call to action for mine today. And I want it to say, let's use the same as we had before, software sale on today. Three days, let's say. Or whatever it is you want to say, obviously. Obviously, you can put some text down below. This is a regular text field, so you can align. Make titles, bold, italicize, make bullet lists, etc. There, I'm going to leave it with the generic text in there because I've got no real text. The button, you may have noticed that you can't see it, or you may not have noticed because you can't see it. It's not going to appear till you actually put a link in for the button. So I want my button to say shop now or something like that. That'll work for me. Let's go down and put a link in. Okay, so click on the link. It'll open up there. And you can put your button link in right here. I'm just going to put in a hashtag in place of a real link because I don't have one. As you may have noticed, that button's now shown up. I want mine to open in the same window because I'm presuming I've got a sale on this site. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. If you want to link the whole module itself to a certain place, you can put another link in there. Different link or the same link if you want to. Same rules apply. Great, well we've got our button, we've got our little title, hence some generic content. Let's just make it a little more interesting looking. Background color, I'm going to change that to blue. I'm going to add an image as well. And seeing as it's software that I'm trying to sell, let's get a computer image, that will do fine. That's what I used before, I believe. You can't really read the text and button over that, but what we can do is go down remember we put that blue color in the background as well we can blend the color in background image blend you want to make sure you've got parallax effect switched off and i'm just going to multiply that will multiply the image with the blue color now that is quite nice you can see the image and you can read the text and hit the button quite well fantastic well that's all i really want to do so i'm going to save that and this is what we're going to have pop up and it'll look bigger than this when we pop it up and I'll show you what that, how that works in a moment. I'm now going to save this to my library. To do that, just click on it so it brings up the dark tab again. A little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Just click on it. We'll give it a name. Uh, sale pop, pop up maybe. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and save it to the library. Now it's saved in our library, I can go ahead and trash it, trash it because I don't really want it sitting on my page here all the time. So it's gone now, but it's saved in our library. What I'm going to do now is hit the little purple button at the bottom and save the changes. Now remember, when we started, we went down 
from a dashboard to Divi Supreme Pro and enable the Divi pop-up switch. Make sure you've done that before we do this next step. Now that that's all saved, I'm going to quickly refresh this page. If you don't, that little item we saved in our library will not show up. Okay, well, I want to, you can use any module you like to trigger this now that we've got it in there, but I want mine to appear on all pages. So I'm going to go right down at the bottom to my global footer. And I'm going to hit edit footer template. Now we're in there, I can roll down a little bit. I'm actually going to use my icon to pop it up. I know I've got a link there that'll take us to other places, but it doesn't matter for this particular instance. It won't affect the link. So I'm going to click on it. Dark tab for the module. They're kind of crowded there, but I'll get into that module with a little cog there. I'm going to go over to my advanced. I'm going to go down to visibility. If we roll down, we're going to see a little switch that says use pop-up. Now, because I used it before it's on, Usually that's going to be off unless you're using it for a pop-up before. So I'm going to switch this to on. You can choose what kind of pop-out you want to pop up. I'm going to use a layout that we save to our library. Now we have to choose it from our library. It's going to be right on the bottom. Most recent, there it is, sale pop-up. Now I want it to trigger on. By default, this is going to be set probably to module, but you can trigger it on module button click image hyperlink by id if you give things a, a css id by css class on page load that's the one we want it's already checked because that's what i did before on scroll or exit intent exit intent is when they go up to close the browser that's a really useful one too but i want it on page load today so i'm going to leave it just as it is we're not going to use it as a co cookie consent i've made videos on that previously Close pop-up trigger, that's a little X by default. Yeah, I'll leave that just as it is. I want it on the outside of the pop-up there. You can use an auto-close pop-up, which is what we're going to do. Normally that would be off. I'm going to switch it on. And I'm going to say, after so much time, 10 seconds, that's going to work for me. Close it. Time delay is the delay before it actually pops up. Normally I think that's set to zero. I'm going to have mine Two seconds, just put a two in, it'll put the S in for you. Now, cookie expiry. That's the time it takes to remember what, how, when you visited this site. It's the number of days, if you will. I, I think the default's 30. If you put it on that, it's not going to pop up again for 30 days. I'm going to put mine to zero. That way it's going to pop up every time the page is refreshed, which may be a little bit too much. That's entirely up to you how you do this. Play with it, get it how you want it. But I'd like it to pop up every time the page is refreshed. You've got entrance and exit animations, plenty of them. I'm going to leave mine just as they are. There's plenty to play with there. Pop up position. Yeah, I want it in the center. That works for me. I want it to be absolute. So if they scroll, it's not going to move anywhere. Here's where I mentioned earlier about it being bigger. The default is 680, which is about this big which works for me. In fact, it's going to be about this big for this particular instance. If you want to, you can do some different sizes for tablet and mobile, but that 680 works for me on everything at the moment. Show overlay. Yep, that will darken out the background color. If you want to change that color, you can do so here, but I'm going to leave mine on the default black. And I'm going to show the close button. Okay, you can choose uh, icon for the close if you want to the defaults an x i won't scroll all the way through but an x works pretty well that's pretty standard and you can choose a background color and an icon color if you want to i'm going to leave mine all on the defaults there so we should be in pretty good shape here so let's save this now save our page changes down the bottom here let's exit the visual builder And as you can see, after two seconds, we've got that little pop-up happening right there. I'm going to leave it. After 10 seconds, it should disappear. There we go. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. You can continue using your site. And this will work on any page because I put it in the global footer.
I'll just refresh that again one time so you can see it once more. Two seconds, and it's going to pop up. And if they want to, they can close it right here or hit the button if they need to to go to the Shop Now page. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a pop-up notification on page load using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules. Divi Supreme's great. It comes with about 50 little modules for you and several extensions, which are absolutely awesome. The pop-up one being one of them. So do check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.